Thank you so much for your company this morning. Writer and director Natalie Medlock wants to start a conversation. Her latest play, Near Death Experience, is a tragic comedy inspired by her own lived experience with anxiety and depression. She is here to tell us all about it, along with actor Amanda Tito. Welcome to you both. Hello. Hello. Really nice to have you here. Uh, let's start with you, Natalie. Tell us about where you were and where you were at when you came up with this concept. Okay, so I'll give you a bit of a rundown on the concept first. So the play is about Tabby and she ODs, tries to commit suicide and in the, doing so she has a near-death experience where she meets the psych psychiatrist Carl Jung in the form of a Greek god with a chicken head. Okay. <laughs> All right. And in this near-death experience world she falls deeply in love with him but she's resuscitated and so she then spends the rest of the play trying to get back to Carl Jung, chicken-headed Greek god, to be with the love of her life. You've and, sold me already. Yeah, yeah. And, me <laughs> and meanwhile, through that plays this um, relationship with her estranged um, parents as they try and care for this, the, this child they gave life to who doesn't want to be alive and navigate the guilt and the, uh, the feelings of, um, you know, absolute helplessness yeah. so it's the kind of their love story trajectory over over the arc, arcing as well and is it drawn from your own experience yeah yeah well I used when I was living in Melbourne by myself and I was house sitting a couple of schnauzers <laughs> and I was changing medications so with medication you have to come completely off one mm. to go st slowly onto the new one so while you're coming off one you are a little bit nuts. Right, yeah, no, fair and enough. And then you've got nothing, so you're, it's really bad. And so it was during that period that I wrote this play. And so I was very, very depressed, very anxious, and, and quite kooky crazy as well. Hence the chicken head. Yeah. Did you write and the schnauzers into the play? No, the schnauzers <laughs> were not written into no. the play. They're not in the play. <laughs> Anna, you play Tabby Amanda. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that character. Um, Tabby is um, a 30-year-old woman who believes very much that she is not meant for this place. Um, she has gone through a lifetime of painful thoughts, uh, pain, just pain in general, um, and is ready to find the love place, which she kind of finds in, the near -death ex in her near-death experience when she meets Carl Jung, the love of her life. Um, and she is desperate for it. This must be the type of role that you love. Have you found it confronting? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, there have been conversations had in the rehearsal room which um, have definitely triggered some uh, strong memories. Um, uh, depression is not something I'm a stranger from mm -hmm. um, and so definitely like I don't know I resonate with a lot of the mm -hmm. a lot of the feelings that that Tabby has mm -hmm. and it is interesting to revisit those kind of feelings that maybe you haven't visited in a long yeah. time. Yeah, it's we have to create a really safe working environment yeah. because these all these things trigger a lot of True. people and yeah. other yeah. of our actors have also got um, mental health issues. Especially and working in, like creative, you know, when you're working mm. in creative industries like this, it's not uncommon, is it? No. no. So tell us a little bit more about some of the other cast members then. So there's Peter Hamilton who plays Tabby's father and yeah, he's, he suffers from depression as well and he's um, He's just brilliant. Him and Bronwyn Bradley. She was on Go Girls for a long yes. time. Yes, yeah. Dave Farnay's wife. She is, those two together are just... Nobody like, else could play those parts. Nobody. They are 110% Billy and Anne. Oh, it's this beautiful it's love story and they are so funny. Yeah. They are so funny. And Fussy Tua Amosa plays Carl Jung as the Greek god with the chicken's head <laughs> and he has a ridiculous chicken head and he just delivers everything deadpan. He yeah. is just ridiculously funny. So some great messages in this experience, I guess we call it. Have your friends and family seen the play and what, what have they said? Because I guess you've drawn some of their characters into the... Well, definitely, like, um, when I was writing it, the, the, the way that the parents for Tabby react is an amalgamation of me watching my parents suffer. Beautiful. And it's not specifically them, but the, the feelings of guilt mm. and responsibility they mm. have and terror around not knowing how to help. Is that yeah. so much helplessness? And yeah. I've really tried to excavate all that to give audiences, not only audiences who are identifying with depression and suicide, and hopefully they feel less lonely through the conversation, but also those who care for 
you know, family, friends, Both that they can they can glean some information about how to care and how to do it. Yeah, because there's nothing worse than feeling, I think, helpless as a parent watching your child go through something like that. Sounds fascinating. The important um, piece of work. Good yeah, work, and also work. the comedy as well is a, is a good mm. way to represent the sort of thing, isn't it, to yeah. get, get it accessible. Our near-death experience plays from next Tuesday until Saturday at Auckland's Basement Theatre. You can check out their website for ticket details. Thank you so much well, thanks, for coming guys. in. Thank you.